Hello all and welcome to Cloudy ML. So today we are going to discuss a interview question of uh, SQL which was asked in an Amazon interview. So let's get started. So this is the uh, problem statement which I have written uh, in a word file that assume you are given the table below on Uber transactions made by users. Write a query to obtain the third transaction of every user, output the user ID spent and the transaction date. So the problem statement seems to be very simple. This is the transaction table where you have a user ID which is a integer data type, spend is a decimal data type and transaction date is a timestamp. This can this is a kind of example input wherein the user ID is uh, created along with the spend and the timestamp or the transaction date. And example output should be like this that suppose uh, we have a user ID of 5 out of which there are 3 transactions done by the user ID of triple 1. So the third expenditure, the third uh, spend done by the um, user ID of triple one is 89.60. So my uh, SQL should you know throw this output of the spend and the transactions date. So we have to actually get the third transaction of every user. The problem statement seems to be very simple, but it is a very conceptual question. So to give you much more uh, insight into what the problem is seeking uh, let us uh, go to Microsoft Excel to analyze this so this is uh, uh, a simple data like simple table which I have made which is of ID name department and salary so suppose you have been given this table in a database and you want to query all these things to so what you can do you can simply write that select star from whatever the table name is maybe the table name is employee so the table name is suppose employee here so i could i could say simply that select select star from employee this can be my query and which will give me the result all that this table will be presented the point is now suppose I want to I want to just present the sorted data for each of the department so I want this data in the form of suppose I have the ID here I will have a name here I will have a department here and salary here and suppose somebody asks me to I that they want this table but sorted by the department so suppose I want how many HR people are there so we have one two three HR so I want HR 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 as grouped as one and salary to, to be sorted from descending to ascending so what is the highest salary which is 25,000 then the second is 15,000 and third is 5,000 this is a dummy data set which I have just created to make you understand how you we will approach this problem so I want this 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 is a uh, this is HR then we want suppose marketing or sales suppose I go with the sales this is the sales 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 and again I want to sort this as per the descending order of the salary suppose this is 30,000 this is uh, 20,000 10,000 similarly the same thing will go with the marketing we want to get the marketing thing with the same kind of 
grouping so i can write marketing 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 these are the department and again i will write the salary like this 52 maybe 28 yeah 28 and 16k i want to query my table sorted like this so what command can you think can do this what kind of command command can do this the first thing which a, a person or a interviewee will get in the mind is the group by but the problem what group by has is so these are the suppose this is this is the sales department here i'll just highlight it this is the sales department here if i will go with a group by what it will do it will collapse this and it will give the aggregation of some average whatever you want so suppose i say uh, group by sales group by sales order of you know descending whatever order you want to have it so what will happen is the sales will collapse to one column like this the sales the sum of for some average or whatever the sales column will have the aggregation of some average whatever it is similarly marketing will get an aggregation of some average count whatever you want similarly hr will also get the aggregation remember guys the level of detail is changing in a simple sql command when i want to uh, actually you when you are using a group by a group by is changing the level of de detail it is the it is collapsing my row into a aggregated row group by is actually collapsing my rows into single row with an aggregation but i want to work with the same level of detail but with a different kind of approach i want to work with these this same level of detail but i just want to sort it accordingly so how would you do that suppose if you you would have only one one uh, department suppose i just want to sort hr so that you can do select hr from you know select department or select hr from employee sort by descending sort by salary in, uh, into descending order so that you can do but what will happen when you want to get all this along with you know along with all this values as well that is a bigger issue then you can also sort it with the uh, highest to lowest salary so you can get the highest of 52000 then uh, lowest of 5000 and in intermediate time or uh, in in the intermediate rows all the values will come whatever way you want to sort but sorting by grouping is something which the sql command will have a difficulty to do this so for such kind of uh, such kind of uh, query there is a class of function which is called a windows function and there is a sub class of a window function called a row function and we will use that so let us see how we can approach this so this is i have created a database of interview then i have created the table and i have imputed the value now when i write this select star from table name is transactions which i have given when i run this query i will get the user id i have used the same example user id i have used 111 as three times and other as two you can actually choose to impute or uh, insert a lot of values which can give you uh, like multiple user id with the third and fourth transactions like that you can do that now what i want i would i would simply i'll show you how we can approach it so suppose i want to select all the field along with a row number 
I want to select all the field along with the row numbers. So I want an additional row, sorry, additional column, which will give me the row numbers of each of the row. It's something like this. I want to fetch all this. I want to fetch all this, but I also want a row number here. I want a separate field of a row number, which would give me a row number here. The row number will be starting from one, two, three, four, five, what like this, the row number you can, you, I want to get this row number, additional column with a row number. So what I can do, I can simply write, select, I will not use star here because I want an additional row as well. So I'll simply use uh, uh, select user ID spent transaction date then I'll use comma and I will use row number row number so you will get a, a, a option to select a row number so remember guys I'm using my SQL workbench here but you can also use this same kind of command in post post GRE SQL or Oracle or my SQL server the results will be same okay we are using a Windows function here why it is highlighted in a blue color is because this is a it this is a class of window function here so I want to select I want to have four fields or four columns in my uh, database uh, or a table I use I want to have user ID spent transaction date and a row number so now uh, I have read uh, I have taken the four fields here and after this I will use a over clause which is important when you will use a window function then I will use this I will use a aliases for this row number because this row number is a function but I want this row number to be shown as row num. I want this to be shown as row num. From transactions, transactions. So this is the, let me see how, what it shows actually. Let us run this. So when I run this, you can see you have a row number here, one, two, three, four, five. So till now we are right. So after this, when I have this database now, so now, sorry, this table now. So now what I want to do, after I get the row numbers here, I get the row numbers here, six, seven, eight, nine. Now what I want, I want to, I want to grip, group these sales, marketing, HR, and I want to partition this row number. I want to partition or split this row number. I mean, it should be something like this. What I want, this is the row number which I have got. Now, now what I want to do, I want to put sales as one, two and three. And suppose this is because I have you, I have you not used any ordering here, but suppose say I want to partition the row number from uh, sorry with sales and I want to sort it from the descending order so what what will happen this will come out to be 1 because 30,000 is highest 20,000 is 2 and this is 3 similarly if you speak about HR so HR also the same thing I will get 1 as this 2 as this and 3 as this Similarly, if I go to marketing, I will again have one as this, two as this, and three as this. What was what I did now here is actually let us write it here. Let us write it here and let us delete all this. So this is the split or partition row number splitted
row number and splitted by splitted splitted by splitted by department splitted by department this is splitted by department row number and this is the actual row row number so this is the actual row number here So see the difference guys, this is the actual row number and this is the row number splitted by department. So the same thing I want to do it in my uh, current data set and let me tell you why we want to do this. The simple reason is if we can split this according to the department in the, uh, our case, if we can split it according to our order, order ID or user ID so we can actually fetch the uh, the uh, whatever row we want whatever row we want so in this case if suppose i say that i want to fetch the lowest lowest salary in the sales department i can simply fetch row number as 3 so the same thing i want to do i have got this now i will have to partition so what i will do i will use a partition by command here partition by and user id i will use because i want to i want to have uh, the you third use third transaction of a user id and this i can use partition by user id so when i use this now and when i run this command when i run this command you can see triple one user id has row number one two three then the other two user id which is 121 and 145 is just one one because they don't have a second transaction or a third transaction you can choose to you know include or insert various other values uh, for the user id one two one one two five one four five to actually see the difference but you can see that user id of one 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 has a row number of 1 with a transaction date of 8th of Jan then second row number with with a 10th of Jan and third row number is a uh, uh, 5th of Feb and then these two row numbers are coming with 1 1 because they just have 1 1 transaction here so now my uh, my query can become very simple and very easy now so I have this row number here uh, sorry I have this table here now what I can do I can simply select one second I can simple I can simply select user ID spend and transaction date again guys I'm not using star here because I will be using select command on this particular table on this particular table and this particular table has four fields so I will write select user ID spend transaction date from this is the table and I have to give an tab uh, this name also the name of this table suppose I will name as trans dot num so select user ID spend transaction date from this table uh, and the table name I have given table name you can give anything I have given transnum you can give ABC whatever you want now the point is where where the row num is equal to 3 this is the conditions which I have. this is the condition which I have put because I have taken this as a row num here which a, no, a row number I have uh, put in the uh, table as a row number and I am taking the that particular row which has a row number of 3 so now when I use this I get a single user ID of triple one with a spend of 90 on a uh, sorry 5th of Feb which was the third transaction so now 
our problem is solved. Now you must be thinking why the, this is getting rounded off because I put 89.60 because the problem is once you put a decimal here you have to put the integer value the integer comma the decimal part so you can say the integer part has two units decimal part has two units something like that you can do it but I have not done this that is why I'm the values are rounded off so this is how we can use the uh, window function the class of window function which is a row number so I can get the third transaction sounds very complicated at first but this is a very simple conceptual problem which was asked in one of the Amazon interviews so I hope you guys like it so if you like this video please go uh, go there go on the YouTube like our channel, subscribe and share with the others. Thank you and have a nice day.